Natalia Bonner. It's day 194. Today we're going to be stitching using my four in one machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching. I'll begin by using my blue Mark Beyond marker. On all three sides of my triangle, I'm going to mark an increment that's two inches from each corner. So that means I'm going to have six markings on my block. From there, I'm going to begin stitching at the bottom left marked point. I'll stitch a curved line using the largest curve on the four in one machine quilting ruler from that point across the block to the next marked point. From there, I'll adjust my ruler and stitch back to where I started. From that point, I'll travel up the ditch to the next marked point. From that marked point, I'm going to stitch a curved line down to the bottom right marked point. From that point, I'm going to adjust my ruler and stitch back to where I started. From there, I'll travel along my ditch across the top of the block to the top right marked point. From that point, I'll stitch another curved line down to the bottom left marked line. From that point, I'll adjust my ruler and stitch back up to where I started. From there, then I'm going to again adjust my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, lining the largest curve edge up along the top of my previous stitching, and I'm going to echo all the way around the outside of this design. I love the look of echoing. I love how it ties everything together and just really seems to finish off a design nicely. So you'll notice how I echo around, and then when I get back up to the outside of the block, I'll just travel along the outside ditch on my block. Once I've completed all of the echo stitching, then I'll finish off this adorable block design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.